doing is I work for Deschutes Brewery. Are you familiar with Deschutes Brewery at all? Anybody? Okay, that's why I have a job. So um, <laughs> we're based out of Bend, Oregon. In fact, uh, we've been around since 1988. Um, for those of you who don't know about beer, um, it's very simple ingredients, water, barley, yeast, um, sugar. Yeah, hops, very important part of that, uh, most recently. Um, in this case, we always use whole flower hops, meaning that we don't do anything to them. We literally pick them off. It's a hop cone, they're about this big. And we have a huge storage, bales and bales of these hops. We only harvest them called fresh hop beer, meaning we picked it, and within four hours of picking it, we brewed it. Took our truck. Uh, if you come tonight, you get to try it. it it's, it's a really, really cool beer. Uh, how I got started was sitting in these seats. I started in restaurants. When I was really young, I uh, worked at a restaurant called Islands in Phoenix and started as a bus. So there. while I was up here, I worked at Oregano's, um, yeah, the back of the house. I got to go to the front of the house, the training programs, eventually wanted to be a trainer to help out everybody coming in. The reason I wanted to do that is, uh, and the best advice I can give you for restaurants, cross-train yourselves or make sure that you're cross-trained in the restaurants. Work both front of the house and back of the house. After Oregano's, I was asked um, in my senior year here to manage Maloney's uh, up in, uh, you guys all know where Maloney's, Maloney's. Sure. <laughs> um, So I took on the service manager role there, back down to a place called Chelsea's Kitchen in Phoenix, working for a manager that I knew at that point, and I did their, uh, went down to bartending, and I helped them with their training program. I got to work with them and see them on a daily basis. The, the reps would come in with their wine bags, their beer, whatever it was. They'd sit down with the bar manager. And in the middle of the afternoon, the bar manager just got to sit there and taste wine. They got to taste beer. And I'm like, what? This is a job? You get to go like door to door selling wine and spirits? I want that. So I got interested in it, although I didn't like the whole aspect of sales. I never really thought of myself as a salesman. Um, it just had a bad stigma to it. Then I looked back on my years and I was like, Wait, I'm a server. That's all I did was sales. So, so, uh, got to do about a year and a half as a distributor. Uh, ended up at the right place, right time, and got to go on the supplier side, which is eventually where you'd like to be to work for one product instead of you're like when you're in high school and you're like, this is algebra. I am never. I'm never going to use this. It's ridiculous. So you kind of just go through it. Some of you probably did really well, but I just kind of <laughs> skipped my way through it, and it's like, this is just it's silly. I use it on a daily basis now. Um, P&Ls and a lot of that things I focused on, but didn't pay a whole lot of attention to, and I got a real, real slap in the face when it came to figuring it out and understanding where your budgets are going. Understand where your money is. That's what's going to keep your job.